Welcome back to the fourth part of my sewing tutorial series for digitalizing a panty sewing pattern in Valentina. And last time I had to cut off the video because I got a bit confused when creating the workpiece of my crutch panty pattern. And I found out why. Because it didn't work when I was trying to select the different nodes and edges. And the reason is because when you hover on this curve you can see that it has a tiny arrow. And the arrows all need to follow the clockwise direction. And before I had this arrow going in the other direction. So that was the issue. I simply deleted the curve and drew a new curve going from right to left and not from left to right. With the very same variables I entered before. And now it's working. So let's create our workpiece with the workpiece tool. I select the point and then the curve. Point, point, curve. And point and press enter. And here we have the points for the curves, which are these strange points denoting the start and the end point. Just press OK. And now we can go into the detail mode, and now we can also drag this one where we want it to be. Oh, we can do the same options we did before. So I'm going to add seam allowance. And for this pattern, I only want the seam allowance on the left and right side because I'm going to sew some fold over elastic on the curves. So what I'm going to do now is the same thing as before. I'm selecting node B and after I don't want any seam allowance. Zero. And select point B5 and before no seam allowance. Before. After B4 we don't want no seam allowance. And before B1 no seam allowance. All right, so there's also a way to avoid this corner here because I would like it to be just straight. I can go back to B and then say angle by, let's try point intersections. No. Nope. First edge symmetry. This, this is the one. So it changes it to be like this, and I, I prefer it that way. So I'm going to do it for the other points to be one. By this should be the second edge because we're going in the clockwise direction. And for B5, doing the same for first edge. Oh, second edge. Mm, no, first edge. Let's try this. Okay, second egg, edge, right angle. So this is the second edge and this is the right angle. Okay, makes sense. And before, I guess it's first edge, right angle, yeah. Okay, so we have our seam allowances on the right and left side. And now we can also add, for example, the grain line, which I will also rotate. And maybe five centimeters long and just a rare. Okay, and drag it. I want to add a label. This is the second pattern piece B. I just need this one once. I'm gonna add a label. 
and multi pattern piece. Then I insert the piece letter and the quantity. Okay. And we still want it to be bold and centered. Then we need to activate the label. And then we need to make it bigger. In this case, maybe 10 by 3. Looks good. Just gonna do it like this. This corner will disappear in the next step, so that's fine. All right, so we're done with the details mode and now we can just switch over to layout. We have to select the template size um, of the paper from it. So usually I, I would just select A2 and see if it fits. And then it calculates the best way to make your pattern fit. The last step would be to export the layout and save it by giving it a name like panty button. We can select PDF. Okay. And it's all done.